welcome to this edition of Adopt a Pet. This is Stacy, and I'm Janice, and we're starting off with a bunny that's a little afraid to be on the show today, Aww. and it's a bunny with a story. You know, not all of our bunnies are, you know, like hand tamed, and you know, some of them, you know, might just need to be that bunny that's, uh, you know, you just feed and, and take care of and pamper, yeah. but you're not going to get to hold and snuggle. Yeah. Well, this is Spook, and she's a little spook to people. <laughs> and you know, and, and that's her name. That's yeah, that's why she's named that. Um, spook actually came into our shelter very, very scared. She had some behavior issues. She wasn't the nicest bunny. Um, and our wonderful volunteers have actually been fostering her for a long time, and uh, working with behavior. And just the fact that I can hold her now is wonderful. She has really come around. She's she's actually very, very sweet when she trusts you and uh, she's comfortable with you. She's a nice little medium-sized rabbit, so she's not huge, she's gonna be easy to pick up. Um, she's very soft, she's a beautiful like calico, I don't know if you can see that, but she's a beautiful almost calico like a cat. Um, we went ahead and we spayed Spook already, so she is ready to be taken home now, and we just asked that she maybe go to someone that's experienced with rabbits. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, maybe somebody that has a little more experience with bunnies. And... I do. Hi, baby. But yeah, just an experienced person. Probably no little little kids, but um, she's not an attack bunny. She's not a mean bunny. She just, so it's not like spam a lot? We don't have no. to? No. Okay. Just got big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, she just, she needs somebody that knows what they're doing and someone that's going to be able to, you know, sit down and pet her and, and, and hold her and, um, you know, just spend a little time with her. But she's very, very sweet. She's only $30 to adopt. She's spayed already. So all you need is your ID a good home, and a carrier. There you go. Yeah. You ready to go, baby? All right, honey. Ready to go? I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the carrier here. Okay. There you go, baby girl. Oh, go this way. Is that faster? There you go. Thanks, David. Critty. Oh, look at this kitty. Critty, critty. The big kitty. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh. And this is Dora the Explorer. This is Dora, yeah. <laughs> and that's probably who she was named after. Um, I know she belonged to a woman and her little girl. Um, and the little girl developed some major allergies to Dora. Mm -hmm. And Maybe. in a weird turn of events, actually, Dora was adopted from the shelter when she was a kitten. Oh. Yeah, so um, that was six years ago. So, you know, she's kind of shell shocked. She. She grew up here in the shelter, and then she was brought back six years later. So it's no fault of her, um, of her own. She's a very sweet kitty. She's a spayed female. She's six years old. Um, she is an indoor cat. She's been around children. She's fine. Uh, she, Yeah, like you said, she's a nice big kitty. And, you know, kitties like this with the with the hair, they need to be brushed. Um, oh, yeah. They bit. need to be brushed. And they love to be brushed a couple times a day. Especially with those they? grooming yeah. mitts. Yeah, they love you've those. You've brushed her, right? Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you've spent some time with her. But um, I don't know if you can see her eyes, but look how gorgeous she is. It's okay. Look at that. Look at that. This beautiful green eyes. Yeah, she's but really pretty. She's one of our prettier cats here at the shelter. Um, and she, she deserves <laughs> she's to She's just a couch to, potato, too. Yeah, she, she <laughs> She deserves to go to a to a permanent home where you know she'll spend the next rest of her life yeah. there. And uh, and I know that the people were very sorry to give her up, but you know she had to think of the health of her daughter. So. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh yes. Oh yes. All right. Okay, darling. Go back. Thank you. Poor baby. No. Yeah, it'd be good to find her a home because she's used to living in a house, and it's just kind of a little shocking for her right now. Yeah, and you know, she was adopted six years ago from here, um, so she grew up with that little girl. And so, I mean, that's really kind of all she, I mean, that was her owner, that's all she knew. So, yeah, I mean, a little shell-shocked. And this is a pretty cat we got coming on, too. This is a pretty cat. And you know, we've shown Elizabeth before. Hi, baby. It's okay, you're right. Um, we've shown Elizabeth before. I th actually, I think we've shown her uh, two times before. She's a beautiful black and white cat. She's eight years old, so she would be considered um, for the Senior for Senior program. Um, she's a spayed female, and she's actually been here since May. Huh. Yeah. She's so pretty. I'm surprised. She's beautiful. And she's purring so loud right now. <laughs> Feel her. But um, she uh, she's $78 to it. Or, excuse me. Yeah, $78 to adopt. That includes her microchip, 
and her uh, spay and her first vaccinations. But uh, she is, a, she's again, another nice cat. She was a stray, so we don't really know her history, um, but she enjoys being indoors, definitely. Do you, have you spent any time with Elizabeth? Just a little bit. She's really sweet. She's actually kind of playful for yeah. as old as she is. I mean, she's really nice. Yeah. Good. Aww. Did you hear that? Are you a playful baby? Are you a playful baby? Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, she's really pretty. Yeah. She's a big kitty, too. I like big cats. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, we got plenty of cats and uh, plenty of rabbits, so <laughs> we have please, lots of rabbits. Please come see cats. us. Yeah, and you know we're in the midst oh, of yeah, kitten yeah. season, Hi, baby. so you know the ones that we're looking at to get adopted are obviously the kittens, but the adult cats too, because the kittens keep coming in, and there's no room for the adult cats. Well, hi there, buddy. Hi. This is Johnny Cash. This is Johnny Cash. <laughs> This is Johnny Cash. And I would have named the dog in the kennel with him June, June Carter, but it's a boy. Oh, that so, work. hi, Johnny Cash. He's a nice little Chihuahua Dash Hound mix. Came in as a stray. It's a little senior dog, we think between uh, seven and nine years old. I think he looks like a little fox. Yeah, he does. And he looks like a dog that we had here named Charlie, uh, who was actually recently adopted, which is nice because Charlie was a long termer here. Hey, buddy. But, um, this dog is really, really friendly. He seems, he's really subdued right now, but very energetic, very friendly, um, really good with other little dogs. And he'd probably be okay with kids too, because he's got a really yeah, good temperament. You want temperament. to get him to run around. It's huh? a matter. You want to get him to run around. It's a matter. <laughs> it's a matter. But yeah, he's a, he's a nice little dog. And we have so many little dogs right now up for adoption. And uh, so if you ever want one, please come down and uh, maybe we'll give you a deal. On a, on a couple of them for your house. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's available for adoption now, and uh, please come down and take a look. All right. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Go. Walk. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he does look like a little fox with his ears. Yeah, he does. No, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> This is what I'll, I know you want to share too. <laughs> this is what I call Christmas in July. I'm no kidding. <laughs> Hi, Judy girl. <laughs> oh, Hi, gorgeous. Yeah, it's a George baby. So, believe it or not, this little dog was found stray. Oh my gosh. Yep, on the streets of Burbank. <laughs> we are calling her Jade, and she is a beautiful, beautiful pit bull mix. And we think she's about three months old. And she's actually in the kennel right now with two other Pitbull mix siblings mm -hmm. that we put her in with, and they all love each other. Jade is going to be a, a large dog, 65 to maybe 80 pounds. Oh, she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. She's a beautiful fawn, that champagne color. Oh, yeah. She's very soft. She's got the beautiful green-gray eyes. She's just, she's beautiful. Look at she's her. She's so pretty. This is going to be a really, really good family dog. Um, good with other dogs, good with kids. Be a good, really good time uh, her age to introduce her to cats if you have cats. Uh, you know, dogs are, when they're treated well, they're, they make great family members. And, you know, dogs uh, treat you the way that you treat them. Yes, they do. Yeah, and uh, we want to we wanna get her early and make sure that whoever gets her is going to love her <laughs> and, uh, and understand her breed. And, you know, perfect example of, of a pit bull mix here where people kind of shy away from dogs like that say so they don't want a pit bull mix for this or that reason. But these are such great companion animals and such great family dogs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially when you get them at this age. Huh? We could mold you. <laughs> we could mold you. But uh, this little dog, uh, she's actually available on the 1st. Should be $98 to adopt to the right owner. And uh, oh, look at the pretty white on the chest. She's gorgeous, too. yeah. Oh, look at that. You're so pretty. But keep in mind, you know, she's going to she's gonna be a larger dog. You're going to need some room for her, um, for her to play. And uh, also adopting a dog like this with, with this breed mix, you need to make sure that you're allowed to have this kind of dog wherever you live, whether it's an apartment, whether it's in a house, whether you're a homeowner and your insurance won't cover this kind of breed. You need to make sure about those things before you bring anything home. Yeah, because we want forever home That's for exactly our baby. That's exactly what we want, and so does she. We want <laughs> baby. We're just going to talk baby talk to you for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she still has the puppy smell. Yeah. Oh. You're gorgeous. We love when you yawn. <laughs> and so bleak. cute. And walk. 
Yeah, right. we're suckers. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. And we go from Jade. Oh, I love schnauzers. It's a little schnauzer and something else. Huh? We're thinking Yorkie. What else we got? We're Come here, thinking it's okay. Yorkie. Wolfie. It's okay. Give me a nice. Okay, yeah, that's that's Heidi. That's my schnauzer you probably smell. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we don't thank you for the gift. <laughs> so we have dubbed this little cutie pie Wolfie. And uh, Wolfie, yeah, we think it's a schnauzer and Yorkshire Terrier. Uh, came in as a stray. He's only nine months old. You're just so cute. Really, really good with other dogs. Uh, we think that he's going to be okay with uh, respectful children, respectful, mm. mature children. But he's a puppy. He's only nine months old. And um, we were actually really surprised that no one came to claim him. Like the one ear up, one ear down. Yeah. <laughs> be really easy to say, hey, do you have a little dog with one ear up, one ear down? I mean, <laughs> so. No, where are you going? Where are you going? No, where are you okay. going? It's okay, it's okay. Oh, it's he okay. has a friend in the hallway. A friend in the hallway. Now we got her all tangled in my shirt. <laughs> We're just a mess now. What? What? So Wolfie is available for adoption now. He'll be 104 to adopt uh, another good dog. He is a little vocal, so keep that in mind if you are living in an apartment or anything. But, oh, you know. I see. Yeah, yeah. Let me see where he's... Because I got a glimpse of the next doggy on the show, and I just want to play. Well, if he's a nice size, too, if you have a condo or an apartment, he's a nice medium size. Very, very soft. Yeah. Love his hair. Good boy. He is soft. He looks rough, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he looks, not. but he's not. He's not. His ears are so soft. Hi, boo-boo. But, uh, yeah, that's Wolfie. Please come down and, and take a look. And, you know, <laughs> you know the Schnauzers and the, the Yorkshire Terriers. They're very busy. You know, they're, they're curious. Yeah, they're going to have something to do. And they're smart. Yep. They're super smart. So keep that in mind. They're not just going to lie around while you're off doing whatever. They're going to need something they to are. do. They like the yard patrol. They, these are dogs yeah. that like yards. Yeah, yeah. They like to go they like yard, to look for rodents. Patrol. Yeah, bring in occasional potato bugs to yeah. surprise you with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I get. Ew. <laughs> hey, that's the fun, huh? Hi. It's presents. Hi. This is presents. All right, Wolfie, you ready to go? All right, buddy. He's cute. Like everybody in the room, I could hear them going, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> he is darling. I think so. Okay. Very cute. Now, can you believe what's coming in? I know. I caught a glimpse. I Hi, can't believe Boston. it. I can't even remember the last time we had a Boston. Yeah. Oh, so it's okay. It's okay. okay. This is Moxo. And Moxo is freaked out. Hi, Lola. He is... Whoa. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, careful. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Moxa says, I'm not sure I like television. It's okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Easy. Right there. Just put him right there. What's the matter? All right. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. Okay, so it's okay. Moxo might have been a little early to put him on the show. Moxo was turned in by his owners last night. They actually moved to a place where they were not allowed to have animals. That is a little early, yeah. He's a little lot of, lot he doesn't understand. Yeah. Um, I spent a little time with Moxo. He's actually very, very friendly. He's freaked out right now. We get that. We understand that. We're going to give him some time. He's actually going to be available um, on the 6th of August okay. at 10 o'clock in the morning. He has been around children. He's been around other dogs. He's been around cats. He's very sweet. And we suggest, too, that you... You check the Boston Terrier breed before you do an adoption. They are a unique, unique type of dog. Um, he is a purebred. We have put him with other dogs, and he seems to be fine. He has lived inside. Um, he seems to be partially potty trained. They actually owned him for three years. He is three years old, and he was their family dog, and they didn't have any problems with him. And they were very, very upset about having to turn him into the shelter because they weren't allowed to take him to their new place. Aww. Yeah. So you're gonna be okay, buddy. So we're gonna we're gonna let him calm down for a few days before we put him up for adoption on the sixth. And uh, 
you know, because this is a big change for him from a home to a shelter. So. Yeah. So but we don't blame know. him for being nervous. No. He doesn't know. Oh, You're baby. okay, buddy. He's it's a okay. good boy. Okay. He's a good boy. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's okay. See, we're not, not so okay. bad. It's okay. okay. Just let him relax. Yeah. He is a he's a he's a hyper breed. So keep that in mind when when you're thinking about adopting. They're a, great dogs, though, they and are. Um, very loyal. You know, people that that have Boston's, they would never have any other dog. They're just so into the the breed. Yeah. And uh, you know, I I have pug. I have a pug. And, I feel the same way about them. They have very similar personalities. They're, like I said, they're very unique, and uh, their personality that develops as they get older is funny because they're like little, little humans and the things that they do and their abilities. My sweetheart. That's but so that funny. is our last dog. That is our last dog. You know, and normally we would go off someplace for our tip of the week, but we actually don't even have a tip of the week this week. <laughs> so. So our best tip to you is uh, what I would say is that if you're looking for an animal to add to your household, please make shelters your first your first stop, your first choice of places to go, whether it be our shelter or any shelter. Um, th these dogs all need homes. They all have special stories and needs, and they're cute. Sometimes they're purebred, sometimes they're mixed, sometimes they're puppies, sometimes they're older dogs, and we've got cats and kittens and gosh knows we have rabbits um, and uh, dogs and please come down and see what we have and as you can see you might be surprised by the uh, selection that we have and find that perfect animal for your household so come down and see us here at the Burbank Animal Shelter and remember when you adopt a pet you adopt a friend thanks for joining us